So I'm at the Ryland Library in Manchester, England, and uh, this was the inspiration to Hogwarts. The John Rylands Library is a standout neo-gothic building located on Manchester's busy Dean's Gate. And as well as it being significant cultural value, it is one of the most popular tourist destinations in the city center. As a memorial to her husband, Enriqueta Rylands chose to build a public library that would enrich the city's architecture. If you're ever in Manchester and you're a big Harry Potter fan, it's a no-brainer. You have to visit the Ryland Library where the spirit of Hogwarts awaits you. Welcome to Hogwarts. The building was finished in 1900. The building is now 121 years old. I love you like peaches You're as sweet as can be I love you like peaches You got me up in the tree I love you like a blue sky On a beautiful day I love you like a blue sky Hey, what can I say? I just want you above me I love you like forever Cause it's all that we got This is a buddy B-U-T-T-Y Butty Yeah, yeah. I, I wouldn't say this is like proper tradition Yeah That's pretty cool, that's the city hall? Yeah, C city hall and like parliament and stuff Oh, that's fun How old is it? How old is this? 
Enough fun. Wish I could tell you. Probably 2000. Remember these handsome fellas? I met these guys back in New Zealand. We stayed in touch over the years, and they happened to live in Manchester, so I got the VIP treatment, and they showed me around my first night. It's bumping on a Sunday. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's neat. And then what, you just get beer and drink it? Beer, food, souvenirs, all sorts of wooden puzzles, whatever you want. Yeah. <laughs> I was looking for a wooden puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> I was in the box. Yeah. Same what? I can't, I wouldn't. Anytime you want to enjoy it. The light's still in the car. No, you gotta have one. The wooden tie. Is it cool? Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. So this is the German town. This trip, I uh, I chose to stay a lot of Airbnbs and and uh, just you know the random people that you meet along the way. This is his room. Uh, I've rented this room for her about um, you know, fifty bucks a day. It's not too bad. Um, so it's just a little room, but it was pretty cool. I ended up getting a, a living room as well, which is neat. And then there's an outside patio, but it's kind of dark, so you can't really see it. But um, hopefully, I'll have some pictures later for that. But uh, anyways, just want to give you a little some traveling ideas of what to do. You don't have to always stay in hostels. You can stay in Airbnbs if you want, like you know, some space to yourself where you can get some rest and sleep. But um, so you know, so there's all kinds of options. I mean, some people like to camp. Some people. Um, you know, there's, there's there's all kinds of options. I mean, in, in different levels of hostels, and then if you want to go really fancy, you can always get a hotel. So, um, all right. So this is the first time I'm eating uh, blood pudding. This blood pudding is this. this thing. Right, let's see what happens. Kind of dry. I don't know. It's like irony, salty. Like it has like a lot of barley or something in it. It's like chewy. It's alright. I want to find out. Flavor is. It's their equivalent of uh, ranch. 
Thirty-six. I'm at the Arndale Mall here in Manchester. It's a big. Uh, it's kind of like a flea market slash mall. It's got everything. Kind of reminds me of like China, which uh, tour stores and stuff. And then there's also like a fish market. Get fresh fish if you want. And then all kinds of different foods. So. Terry and Company. Mm -hmm. 